What is up, Beta Ray Brothers? Beta Ray Jim here, back with another unboxing video. This one is monstrous. I'm telling you what, I've got a huge stack of books to show you. Can't wait. Let's get right into it. Let's do this. All right, and welcome back, guys. Here we go. We've got a whole bunch of books to add to the collection. Before I start, though, I want to give a shout out to Southern Comic Geek. Got me the hookup on my very first pop. Uh, I've actually won some pops and giveaways and never actually bought one before, but here we go. I mean, if there's one pop Beta Ray Jim needs, it's his boy, Beta Ray Bill. Thank you so much. Southern Comic Geek, I'm going to put your link down in the description. Check him out. He's always doing some great videos and stuff. Very entertaining. Good stuff. Thanks again. All right, let's move on to the books. I've ordered so many books recently. I'm so excited to show you these. And I've got some questions for you because not very, I've got some DC books, not exactly sure where to start, but let's, uh, let's get into it. The first one I want to show you, I'm going to start with the non-Marvel books. We'll end with the Marvel stuff, but here we go. Got some Godzilla action. I heard good things about this. This was weird. I actually thought this would be a bigger book. I guess based on the price, it's obviously the right size, but a uh, huge fan of Godzilla. I've heard this is an awesome, awesome book. It's going to, uh, you know, bring me back to be my childhood and stuff, you know, but uh, the art looks really cool. It doesn't look like it's going to be a super long read or anything like that, but yeah, man, Godzilla, good stuff. Let's move on. Next one here. This is another one. I actually wanted to read this for Halloween, but didn't get around to it. Popped it open and the artwork doesn't, I don't know. Kind of bought this one on just because I wanted a good zombie book and I've already read Walking Dead, so yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I'm definitely going to check it out. Probably should have read it before uh, before Halloween, but what can you do, you know? Oh man, speaking of Halloween books, I got another shout out here. Metarog recommended when I asked on my uh, my my video there of what books I need to buy to help pad my <laughs> pad <laughs> to help build help build my uh my dc collection he recommended house of mystery pick this up and man this really brought me back as a kid i never read these as a child you know but reading them made me feel like i was a kid you know reading the comic books and stuff or really brought excuse me really brought back some good memories of uh of reading comics and you know just really brought me back to the time when these came out jeez i can't even the 12 centers you know when did these come out probably the 50s or something 40s yeah, these were actually really fun. I've read a few issues of these. Metarog, thank you so much, brother. I'm going to put Metarog's description uh, link down in the description, so be sure to check out his channel. This guy is just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to books. If you're looking for something to read, follow his advice. Get some good suggestions. What else do we have here? Oh, I just threw Beta Ray Bill on the floor. Sorry about that, brother. All right. Now these books, man. Okay. I'm excited about these as well. Oh. And this is where I have a question. I don't know where to start with these, but let's take a look. The Swamp Thing by Alan Moore, Absolute Edition, Volume 1, and First Edition Comics told me about this. When I first heard about this, I was just amazed. This book, it feels like mossy. Like, the texture is incredible. It almost feels like... It's not felt. I was going to say, it. maybe it is kind of felt. It kind of feels... Or maybe velvet? I don't know stuff is kind of feels like a poker table but not really maybe a pool table eh. man i am excited about this wow some crazy good art definitely need to do a beta review on this book now the question i had for you and if you would please let me know in the comments or send me a message on instagram or something like that do i start i've never read any swamp thing none so do i start with this swamp thing the absolute edition by alan moore or back there behind me, I've got the Nancy Collins. Let me grab it here. Give me a second. So Nancy Collins omnibus swamp thing. So I don't know if this is the right place to start. If I should start with the absolute, does it matter? I have got some reorganizing to do. I've got to make some room for these books. So yeah, swamp thing by Alan Moore, absolute edition, volume one. So glad they reprinted this and they reprinted it because it just came out with volume two. Oh, yes, that's right. Volume two, absolute swamp thing. Oh, man, and this one, same thing. A beautiful, like, texture to the cover. And this, look at this art. And swamp thing. Why is so popular? I remember when I was a kid watching those movies and just being enthralled. 
parents, you're going to have nightmares. No, this isn't a horror movie. It's a superhero movie. <laughs> All right. One more absolute. Go big or go home. Absolute dark night. Ladies and gentlemen. Holy cow. Embarrassed to say I've never actually read this. But I'm pretty proud to say I'm doing it right. This is the way to read it. If you've never read this book before, I'm sure this is the one. What's odd about this one is these are all opened. If you've watched my uh, pop tips for omnibus collectors, you know I like to take all the shrink wrap off. But I've never seen this before. It's got the hard sleeve, but it also has a dust jacket. Kind of odd. There we go. Absolute dark night. I cannot wait to crack that one open. Get into that. I've heard amazing, amazing things. All right, so that's it for the uh, non-Marvel stuff. Let's dig into the omnibuses. All right. So, want to start with this one? Yeah. Conan Volume 1, the Marvel Years. I'm pretty happy about it. I've, I've got them all so far. Not happy about the cover, though. I wanted the, the DM cover. All my other editions for Marvel Years have the DM cover. I actually ordered, if you've seen my other video on the top three omnibus vendors... I ordered from somebody that wasn't on the top three omnibus vendor. They said they had the DM cover, but they sent me this one. Not doing it. Sent it back. Realized everybody sold out of the DM cover, even though it was just reprinted. So I had to settle with this one. In stock trades. Thank you so much. Once again, in stock trades, man. So good. Best prices. The shipping. Perfect. Chef's kiss. Let's move it on. Got another Conan Marvel Years. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't collect these growing up. I mean, I saw them here and there. A huge fan of Conan. Savage Sword, though, is where it's at, man. I love the Savage Sword books, but eager to get into these as well. As you can see behind me, huge fan of Dungeons & Dragons, you know. Love the fantasy, so this will be good. This will be good. I mean, it's not going to be Dark Knight good or anything. It probably won't be as good as Swamp Thing, but it's fun. I like, you know, it's a good, fun read. This one, probably won't read this one for a while. I've got a lot of catching up to do before I get to Heroes Re... Heroes Reborn, The Return. I've got Heroes Reborn behind me. Uh, I just found out, uh, was it this week or last week? Anyway, they're coming out with a reprint of Age of Apocalypse and Age of Apocalypse Companion. So definitely want to get those, read the whole story, get the whole cycle going through. Pretty excited. Not, not huge on the list, but this is the last one. And this one's way at the top of the list. I've already read these, but my God, they're so good. That's right. Hulk by Peter David, Volume 2. They just announced Volume 3. If you want to order it, go to DCBS, Discount Comic Book Shop, dcbs.com. 50% off Volume 3. Get it now. And I can't wait to get back into these. And I love the abs. Oh, I'm sorry, I love the absolutes, but I also love the omnibuses too. The oversized artwork, the beautiful white pages. Can't wait to get back into these. So good. And that's it. I mean, quite a few books here. I've got a stack, as you can see. Jeez, I'm probably going to have to get a whole new bookshelf. Uh, but a lot of good books here. Please let me know about the Swamp Things. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to matter if I start with Nancy Collins or Alan Moore. But if there is one I really should read, I doubt they're like tied together or anything. But if there is one I should read, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. Let me know about the, uh, the other books I got. If there's anything you really liked. What did you think of Crawl Space? Not sure why I picked that up. I'm, I haven't been drinking, but... I'll check it out. But that's it. I really appreciate you guys, st guys stopping by. So happy to be uh, making these videos for you, showing you my collection. Check out my live streams. Going to have some live streams coming up soon. And uh, appreciate you being here. Catch you next time.